Hey guys, Joseph here once more. All right, so let's quickly look at what we're going to be doing today. So let me just quickly play this. So I was actually playing around with um, UI UX design stuff. So I thought I should do an animation of it. So this is what I came about. So this is what this video is going to be about, how to create this kind of animation. And you can see this whole effect. So. So before I get into the tutorial, I would like to please implore you guys to like this video and share if it helps you, because it helps me in my YouTube algorithm. And if you are new to my channel, please just subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. So let's just get to the tutorial. So I'm going to create a new scene, a new file here, yeah. where I can start Listen, so I already have this. I'm just going to copy this over and get down with the animation. All right, so my system is kind of slow this afternoon. So let me just circle through and copy out that file. So what I need here is, um, okay, so I need this. Just copy this out, Control C. Or I could just even start up. All right, so I'm here. So I have this file copied. So I'm starting from here. So if you look at this file right now, because of the animation, I need so much, I need enough geometry on this screen object. So if I hit, um, NB on my keyboard, it shows me the wires and it notices that this is just a line. So how can I turn this and add enough geometry? So I make use of a, a plugin, which is a um, um, quad remesher. That is what I'm going to use for this. So before I even start, I'm going to select the object I want to remesh. So what the quad remesher does is used to convert um, an object more, let's just say your, your model is, um, has triangles and you want to convert them to quadrilateral. So, so that's just what that is. You want to convert them to polygon. So that's what quad remesher is used for. So I'm going to select the object I need, select the quad remesher. So this comes up, it tells me to choose the target quad count that I want. So the total quad count that I want. So let's just say in this case, I'm going to go with um 7000 quad then the other thing i'm going to do here is i want to <clears throat> check this adaptive um quad count so it looks through where it needs to um make the quad smaller or bigger it does that by itself so once you're done with that just remesh it so that's just waiting for the new dialogue box to come up so this will start remeshing and once it's done, it's going to create a copy of this screen and hide this. So now that this is done, if I select this, you notice I have a copy and it has been done for me just in one click or maybe two. <laughs> so now this is hidden. I can now bring this and hide as a backup. So I can rename this screen. So that's the first thing you want to do. You want first off um create your um make this a polygon object so you have enough geometry to affect so once you have the the other thing you want to do is to start um setting up this whole scene so if you look at this i created a file for the this was done in photoshop yeah just created these files which i am going to save out. I also have the ones with button and hit that. So I'm going to show you the reason why I hit this button here. Because if you, if you notice the animation, I created a separate button for this. So you just have them, sorry. I created a separate button which reveals itself, you notice. So that's why I created the two um, files. One with the button and work without the button. So I'm going to put the one without button on this screen and the one with button on the others guy here, where 
So what I'm going to do is let me quickly set this by creating a texture so I can place this texture over to this. Okay, so um, this texture, I'm going to load this um, material that I created from Photoshop. Just wait for this. Load that up. Okay, so um, yeah, yes. I found it, so I'm going to put the one with button just for the moment. And you're going to see why I need that. So that's the first thing. The next thing I want to do is I need to specify where I want this button to be. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I want that button to be somewhere here of the screen. So I'm going to change this to top view. So it allows me to look at this object straight up. So if I hit UL for loop selection, I can select this. Or I could just come to this place and create a cut. So if I create a KJ for um, plain cuts, I can choose this and change this to local. Then I'm going to have a plain cut here. So I'm looking for the right axis. So, so this is the right axis. So I'm just going to cut somewhere here. So if you look through, you see, you notice the cut. So I'm going to do similar thing here. So I actually made a cut there. So once I'm done cutting, the next thing is to select. So if I come over to this place, I can select this part. So I get rid of this top one. So I'll just quickly go through the selection and select what I need. So this is going to be the screen face. So I'm going to just hit V on my keyboard, select and set selection. So this is going to be the screen display. So for me to invert this UI to invert, the select and V again, set selection. So this is going to be the dark part. Okay, so once I'm done with this, all I need to do is now add this guy over to this texture. So I'll just drag this over to this object. But once I drag it over, the first thing I'm going to notice is, select, is adding it to every part of this, but I don't want that. I want it to be added to only that screen display. So I'll come here, drag the screen, the screen display into the selection. So that will only be added to the screen display. Another thing you also notice is that um, I have this being mapped using um, spherical projection to map over to this. So I don't want this spherical projection. I could just circle around and change this. So if I go to UV, you notice what we have. I go to cubical, we have this. I go to flat, we have this. So the way I go about this is by manually setting how the material will be set. All I do is just right click on the material. Notice I'm in the top view. Very important, you must be in the top view so that you don't accidentally shift off. So if I go to this, right click on the texture, then you are going to see fit to region. So as soon as I click on fit to region, it tells you to create the region. So I'm going to create the region somewhere here. And as soon as I let go, it's going to fit this guy to this section here. But at this point, this is not the end of this. You need to make sure this is, um, um, 
pasted over to this so that by the time you start deforming this, the texture doesn't change. So for us to do that, you right click again on that texture and you're going to generate your VW coordinates. Then it's going to create a UVW map here. So once you are done with that, then you are rest assured that whatsoever deformation you do over to this is going to it's not going to affect the texture. So I'm going to go to this, change this to no scaling. So I have this UA to change this back. So once I'm done with this texture, so the next one is putting this over here. So I'll just create another texture. Make it a glass object. So we are going to go to transparency glass. So what I'm doing now is to quickly first off set everything. Once I'm done with this setting, so every other thing is just simple to go. So I'm going with glass. So what I'm going to do to this is to bring the transparency a little bit down. So we have more like a um blackish stuff so for this i'm going to also add reflectance to it also make this glass because i'm trying to create more like a ui ux feel so i'll select that bring this down to 50 50 so we have a little bit of glass to this so for this other one, just bring this over to this texture, drag this here. So that becomes a glass object. So what you could also do is if you want this to still see through, you need to just come to your texture and reduce the opacity. So if I come to the background, for instance, and bring the opacity down. So let's say 40. You can see the effects you get to have. So let's try 50. So you are seeing through this object. So all you need to do is just save this guy. So once I save this, and then I'm going to bring that over. So this is for the new button. So I'm going to get rid of the button. I already have one for button and another one for number two. If I bring this, um, so I don't have any button. Before I do that, let me just quickly show you how I'm, I created this. And the reason is because for this guy, I don't want to have the kind of texture that has a button. I want to have a different one without button. But the reason why I brought this button is so that it will help me to place this button where it should be. So if I go back to camera, change this to top, then I can create my objects and place it here. So maybe this is going to be X-ray and then bring this over here. So you notice what I'm doing, I'm creating this guy in the top view, so I will not have a parallax error. So that is very important. So once you're done with this first one, so this is more like the login. So I'll bring this other one for the app. So for this app, I'm bringing this down again. and also bring this over here. So if you look at this, you should have a um, little bit of beveling to this. So if I go to the app, add a fillet to this. So the fillet is slightly too much. So I'll just bring this down somewhat there. Um, this, I think this is fine. So I'll change this back to perspective. So what I would do to both is to reduce this. So maybe I would make this five and get rid of the extra. I think I'll bring this still. Let's try three. So I'm just trying change some values here. Then I'm going to bring them up such that they just 
rest on the glass. All right. So once I'm done with this, I will just create a copy. So this is the one with 14. And this one without button. So I'm going to change this back to without button. So I will um, save this out. So if I save this control S, because I already made change to this. So I'll go and bring this with button. With no button rather. So I'll just come here. iPhone no button, which I've done. Replace. So we have that. So this is what you get to have. Okay, so now we need to, I need to turn this also to glass. So what I'll do is select this. Instead of me having this effect, I'm going to copy this over to the alpha channel so that it gives me the alpha to get that glass effect. So that's very important. Bring this down. So you could also change the color. Yeah. So I have this. Mm. So that's for that. Then for this other one, which is this, I already have this with button. So I'll change this, add more um, information here by going to this guy. If I hit N, B and hide this screen so I can see this geometry. So I'm going to add a little bit here and also here, just for me to add this geometry information. So the purpose is just um, for animation purpose. So that's the reason for that. So I'll just try 46. I think this should do. This should do. For the app, I'm gonna try 30, 15. Okay, so this is fine. So I'll bring this back. And A. So if I go back to camera and change this to top, so we have this. I need to now add that same texture over to this, but the one with button. So if I come over to this to uh, right click, apply. So this is what you get to have, but no problems, no issues with that. So what I'll do is go to the, um, just the same thing I did for the screen. I'll go to this login, right click on it. Fit to region, remember I started from here. Over to this. It fits that and right click, <clears throat> generate. UV, but I cannot generate UV. The reason is because this is still um, parametric. So I need to convert this to editable by hitting C. So if I do this, I can delete this. I don't need this UV. I will generate my own UV. So that's done. So I'll do the same thing for this. Right click, fit to region, do the same thing because I know this is the total height. Then right click generate UV. So if I go out, I'm fine. So this is what I did for that. So for in this case, maybe I'll come to this and change this because notice it has shifted. So I'll just change the Y value, holding down Alt. And for the X, 